anyway, Wolf Deku was Yujiro Hanma. Listen, I know it's gonna sound muffled a bit, but I wanna listen to music, I don't care. So, Wolf Naruto was Yujiro Hanma, I mean. Anyway, hold on. Okay. The thing with this. Alright, the thing with this. Naruto. I'm gonna say he's not Kakashi's level. He's a quarter of Kakashi's level because I can't be bothered. Like, everyone who fought him, they were halfing themselves. He's not a Mike guy at five gates, and no, he's Mike guy second gates. He just will beat him in the second gates of luck. Out of luck, it was out of his actual strength. But still, so Naruto. Haku's been training to kill Naruto. Alright, but anyway, Naruto. Training exams, training exams. Naruto, fuck that. I'm not giving him any chakra, any type of chakra. He's a monster on his own. Naruto started out like this, then became this. Then he became this, going onto this form. And then he's gonna be like this powerful level. So in the tuning exams, Naruto is. He can't be. He can be Gara. Rock Lee challenges Naruto because, like, Rock Lee has. Like, he, he views himself as Naruto's rival. And Naruto sometimes does. Like, there was a point when Rock Lee actually beat Naruto once in a fight. But that was when Naruto wasn't at his fullest strength. He underestimated Rock Lee. So Naruto respects Rock Lee because he's the one person who actually beat him in a challenge. That's why he hasn't killed Rock Lee. Alexa, play lo fi hip hop. Alexa, you bitch, play lo fi hip hop. Huh? Ah, oh, miss one. Alright, anyway, Naruto. Naruto views Rock Lee as a worthy opponent. So when. But this timeline, Sasuke challenges Rock Lee. Because Naruto has literally said the only person from this village I respect who is on the level of a Yenin is Rock Lee. So Sasuke is like, I will gain Naruto's respect and become his rival. So then Naruto. Naruto just. Seeing him as a retard. Like, how retarded can you be, boy? So then, um, Rock Lee accepts Sasuke's challenge. And he, he's beating the shit out of Sasuke in his base form. So, so Sasuke activates Tutumoy. Tutumoy. That's. I mean, it levels the fight a bit. Naruto's still beating him. Like, he's still beating the shit out of him. There's no chance. For Sasuke to actually win. So I know I'm gonna say Nor um, Sasuke has that grass blade earlier. So he covers it in lightning and tries to hit Rock Lee. Naruto gets pissed because Rock Lee said this was only Taijutsu and Sasuke agreed. So Naruto's like, Did you not hear him? And he breaks the blade like and he just grabs the blade and then pff, one. And then if you've seen part one, you know what I'm talking about, and then like pff, two. And then he break, like so he broke two parts of the blade, and everyone was like, he just broke the blade with a brute force, with ease actually. And so he's like, I don't care, and he activates the lightning jutsu and tries to punch Naruto. This is when Naruto starts squeezing his hand, nearly breaking the bones, but Rocky is like, no Naruto, I would deal with them. So then Naruto's like, hmm, no, whatever. He's not a worthy opponent of my actual rival. And then, Mike guy, he knows Naruto sees Rock Lee as his rival because, like, he literally beat him in a fight before, and then they're relatively close in power. I know you're gonna be like, what? All right, listen, I'm buffing Rock Lee in this. Rock Lee is about half of Naruto's power, so he can beat the first gate, Mike guy. In fact, he can beat the second gate, my guy. Now Naruto can beat the third gate, so... So, like, second gate, my guy, using full power in the second gate, he can easily beat that. Naruto 
can beat my guy in the full power sword game. So, yeah. And Naruto. Naruto, he's like. He's just watching being pissed. And his brother's like. Okay, what the fuck? And he's like, why does Sasuke want to be acknowledged so bad by everyone? It doesn't matter. It's because someone acknowledges you like that. Uchiha. Uchiha pride. And then Naruto's brother, he, he became friends with Sasuke. Because they both hate Naruto, they have common interests. So, Naruto's brother... He knows if he makes Sasuke angry, then it will make him actually want to fight. So he's like, Oh Sasuke, your clan deserve to die. He goes, shit, Hitachi did a good job. <laughs> I wish someone I wish I wish your your clan pro your clan probably wanted to suicide because of you. And Sasuke unlocked the third Tomoe. He got pissed. And now he actually was beating Rock Lee and Rock Lee was relatively shocked, so he's like Fast gate of awakening. So then he, so then he's about to punch him. The Mike guy is about to rush in in this regular form, but Naruto's like, no, guy, if you rush in, I'll fight you. And then guy, he's like, this boy has the guts to challenge me again. Ah, oh. Mike guy's like, yeah, but Rock Lee's gonna know and says no. I cannot have a weak teammate. If he kills Sasuke, he kills Sasuke. That's it. And he says this blatantly out loud. And then people are like, Boo! Fucking Naruto! And they're throwing shit. And Naruto gets pissed and he's like, He sees the person who started this. And it's like he teleported. He broke his neck. He broke each and every one of the snakes individually. And there was about 50 people. And he broke 50 people's neck and, and they would bleed, like, their heads were off and they were bleeding. And Naruto was like, anyone else who wants to challenge me will feel the same fate as those people. So then, I'm going to say the Anbu, the, one of the Anbu's members, that brother was killed and he gets visibly angry. He removes his mask and takes his sword and it's like, I'll kill you. And he rushes at Naruto and he's a Jonin level, so he is. Stronger than Mike Guy in the fourth gates. So he actually beats Naruto a bit. And Naruto's getting beat. And then when he's about to stab Naruto, the demon power awakens in Naruto. And Naruto, he punched Naruto, he, he grabs the sword and snaps it in one swift move and then punches the Ambu but into a wall, making a crater. The Ambu says, um, shit. First I'll go kaki no jutsu, what the fuck, nah, simple. And then, just hit, and just hits Naruto, and Naruto, he blocked it with his arms. And he performs the shot I'd shown you last episode. He break, he proceeds to swing around. Like he was, he turned his back on him. And he swung around, hitting him with his hand, making his head twist. Like his head is backwards now and then people are, and his teeth are out and he looks and people can see like the skin is like it's like wrinkled up like shriveled off and all that and, like, and now just like don't challenge me just because your family was killed weakling and people this is this reinforces the point of don't disobey us kids or naruto will come after you because they, I would say some kids were there. Because the parents knew someone was going to die by like Naruto. They knew this. And they're like, we need to reinforce our points. So, and they're like, kids, now do you see? And they're screaming. They're like, yeah, no, we need to do, we need to listen to our parents. And Naruto will kill us. And then Naruto's like, your parents are seriously fear-mongering my children. And then Naruto shouts out, I won't kill you kids if you don't listen to your parents. And they're like, what? Really? They're like, so our parents are lying? The parents are like, huh, 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 huh. They say, the fourth Kage will kill you if you tell us. And then they start crying. The fourth Kage denies this. And they say, Red will kill you if you don't. Listen, because Red, Red is powerful. He's a Junie. And then they're like, they just start crying. But then 
they like, no one here will kill you if you don't listen to your parents. Nothing will kill you if you don't listen to your parents. And they're just trying to scare you, to make you do everything. And even Minato agrees. And the parents are like, oh shit. <laughs> the parents, so the kids are like, well, we're gonna have to continue their watch. Anyway, Naruto now has the physique of his YouTuber in this form. This is Naruto's physique now, but like, Naruto, he does a lot of training like this, just meditating like this, and Naruto smokes, it's obvious he'll smoke, simple, so, so, Rock Lee actually beats Sasuke quite easily, because Rock Lee, he has the third gate in this, and Naruto challenges Rock Lee and says, my rival, let's fight again. So Rock Lee accepts this, and he, he goes straight into the third gate. And and he trying to, like, he, no, I'm going to say he has the fourth gate. And he goes straight into the fourth gate, and he tries to hit Naruto, and it works. Naruto actually gets hit, sent into a crater, and Rock Lee is like, leave her again. And he hits Naruto, and then Naruto, he... He, drew, he smashes the ground, making it a semi-earthquake. And he's actually making the ground like And they see the earthquake happening. Rock Lee dodges. And then he comes up with his legs trying to barrage Naruto. But Naruto, he's blocking this with his hands and he's like, my turn. And he pulls Rock Lee's leg and pulls him near the ground. And then he barrages Rock Lee in the air while he's mid-air. And then he kicks him up. But then Rock Lee, kick, the, Rock Lee flips. And then Mina is like, no, no, you're not fighting yet. You're not fighting yet. Not yet. Not whatsoever. Not yet. And then they're like, you're joking, right? It's like, you're at the start of the training. <laughs> I'm a skip. The, the brain exams, my nigga. Naruto will threaten the propter. He threatens Ibiki and everyone there. He says, if you do not pass me, I will kill you. And he threatens them. And they're like, oh, what the fuck? This kid's deranged. So then, Heavenly Earth School, see He says, if you do not pass my team, I will kill everyone in this event three times over including you and they pass Naruto's team instantly because they're like we don't want to have any deaths yet some people but Orochimaru no I would say at this point Kakashi comes is like Naruto you can't just friend people to win you can't you're not doing that I will kill your hand I will beat you if you do try Naruto's like try me he's like you and Rock Lee were relatively equal I beat Rock Lee so many times he challenged me 50 times and I was not sure he meets Naruto and Naruto's like, how did I lose to such a weakling? And then Sasuke says, because you're a weakling. And he's like, if I'm a weakling, what does that make you and my brother? And then they're just like, they go quiet. And he's like, that's what I thought. And, he's, and then Kashi's like, oh, if I'm a weakling, what does that make you? He says, oh, that makes me a very strong person. Letting the weak win. The narrative's like, okay, we'll get the scrolls. Long story short, Orochimaru, he tries to bite Sasuke. But Naruto, he rips the snake's heads off. And Orochimaru, he's damaged. And he's like... <gasps> because Naruto's choking Orochimaru now. He's like, what do you want? And he's like, I'm here to give the Uchiha more power. And he's like, who are you working for? And he's like, I don't work for anyone. And he's like... <laughs> Do you work for the Akatsuki? And Orochimaru is shocked. And unless he works for the Akatsuki still, and it's like, <gasps> How do you know about the <laughs> And then he's getting choked even more. That's why I made that sound. Because I'm choking myself while doing this. Yes. I, I work for the Akatsuki, but how did you know? And then now I have to put some answers. So you were lying to me. It's like, well, I may as well have to kill you. He's like, wait, wait, I'm just here to give Sasuke power. Like, truth is, I want his body. And I'm just like, oh, just kill him then. Take his body. I don't care. And then Sasuke hears this and he's like, 
No, no, and I'm not letting that happen. No, to do you not want to become a son? I should only. No, I don't know if you want to rush his ass. He's like, please help. No, just brother. He blocks Rajimaru and he's like, you won't get past without a fight. Naruto then drags his brother back and he's like, nope, nope. This will give him more power. I don't care about your friend. You can try and get your friend back if he leaves. So, <laughs> and like, and I'm gonna say, the whole guy game was watching is like, wow, he really does not give two shits about anyone. In this village, does he? He just wants to fight people. So then, we skip to the start of the training exams. Keep up against Naruto. Naruto. They're like, kill him, keep up, kill him, keep up. Even Hinata. Even Hinata is nice to Naruto. Everyone else in the village is nice to Naruto. Minato is nice to Naruto. But Kushina isn't nice to Naruto. She likes Naruto's brother Red more. Minato. Minato favors Naruto more because he's like, this boy. Cannot control chakra yet. He's became better than a Jinchuriki. What do you think? Kushina, when she tries to hit Naruto, Minato always says Naruto can defend himself. He in front of Kushina on the dinner table. Kushina said Naruto hit me today. And then Minato said, "Okay, you attacked him, right?" I said Naruto can defend himself from people. I allowed him even he can hit his mother if she attacks him. For no reason whatsoever. And he's like. Haminata says. Hey Kushina even I would block your attack. Oh, he's not lucky he doesn't want to kill you. If you try to kill him. I said he can kill you. And she's like. Do you not care about me Minato? And, and then he says. I care about my whole family. I care about my sons. And when you're endangering a family member, it doesn't make you special. That's what Minato says. Naruto doesn't hate Minato. But he hates his brother who hates him. And his sister who hates him. She's on a team with um, Hinata. And... Uh, I'm going to say she's on a team with Neji. And... Uh, hmm, no. And Hinata, because why not? Naruto isn't as weak in this. She trained because of Naruto. Even though Naruto says that, she still... She secretly likes Naruto, but she hates him in some ways. Naruto... He's like... He's getting pissed. It's like, well, I showed him an example. Kiba rushes and Naruto says, I'm gonna kill you, you evil scum. And he's like... And Naruto says, blocks his head and says, What have I ever and he starts breaking Kiba's knuckles. And they crack. And Naruto, he, he pulls Kiba's hand, slamming him back and forth. Like, the right side, the left side. The right side, left side. Right, left, right side, left side. Simple. And that's what's happening. And people were like, you evil bastard, but keep it down. And Naruto's like, if you insist, he throws him in the air. And he's like, Fine, I'll have to end Kiba. Earth Shatter. And he punches Kiba into the wall, shattering most of the wall in that area. Like, and that shit, they were like, he broke most of the wall. And I'm gonna say, someone there has cement release. So, like, shit, he broke the ring and he's like, cement release! Because the villagers, they were gonna climb over. But they. But then Naruto, he was like, anyone who climbs up, I'll kill. They think Kiba's, Kiba is dead, supposedly. And Naruto, he walks off. And he's like, <laughs> weaklings. They're like, Rock Lee, he calls you his rival. Like, you should kill him. And then Rock like, no, me and Naruto are rivals. I'm not going to kill my friend. And then they're like, Fred, he just killed one of your friends, Kiba. Like, chances are Naruto didn't kill Kiba. If he killed Kiba, he's my rival. I'm not gonna kill my rival. Hold on. Uh, what the fuck, bro? Oh, been a bit. Okay. Hey, bro, why? Alright, where was I? Where was I? So, long story short. Um, yeah. Um, Sasuke got beat by 
Rockley. Now it's Rock and now it's Rockley versus Naruto. Their their fight is equal right now. The Rockley, Fourth Gates, all that. They're fighting equally. And the punches, they're all, they're all equal. I know you can how are they fighting equally? Uh, I need a Taijutsu user only because Rock Lee has trained with Naruto. I said, Well, you seen how Naruto trained. He trained with my guy who has the eight gates, may be able to fight Naruto in his max potential, but he won't be able to beat Naruto in his max potential. Like, it will make him be able to survive for like what three seconds. Like, so, Naruto, anyway. Naruto, he's just been whooping everyone he got in his way. But Rock Lee, Rock Lee actually battled that means Naruto. Like Naruto, no. the Naruto, right? He got like Rock Lee and him, they're equal. Like I've already said. So Rock Lee uses a leaf hurricane and not. Naruto uses an earthquake punch, which actually causes an earthquake. And Naruto, this hits Rock Lee, sending him flying into the wall, spinning. And they're like, they're gonna knock out, no, I send him to the floor, because Naruto doesn't want to knock him out of the arena. And then Naruto says, wait, balls, and he's like, alright, well, let us use this whole arena. The first person to be knocked out loses. So, like, um, okay, so what do you mean by knocked out? Like, asleep, faint. They're like, nah, but mm. the Hokage is like, alright, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, that would be fun. And Kushina is like, beat that little demon. Be and even though Naruto doesn't have the Tug Beast, people still hate him because he was weak at one point. He has no chakra, they're like, beat that weakling, yeah, yeah. And then Rock Lee is like, ah, these villagers are crazy. And he says it, and Naruto's like, yeah. Yeah, and their craziness is directed towards me. Imagine that. Because like, everything's like, I feel sorry. But we need to focus on the fight. So Rock Lee, his punch, this punch, it's going to be megatons of tea. No, Naruto's punch, I'm going to say it's, this is a base punch. Like, he's not trying to use a hard punch. This would be 200 megatons of TNT. And it hit Rock Lee. Rock Lee is like, damn, that was a lot. Then Rock Lee matches, the uh, matches with the same, like, a kick that does that type of shit. Imagine Sanji versus Luffy. And that's what we have here. But where Luffy is infused with Zoro. Because Zoro has better hockey. And, like, Luffy, Zoro, no, nah, I say Zoro using his bare hands could beat the shit out of Sanji. Even without sword, he would beat the shit out of Sanji. There's no doubt because Zoro is full strength. He's stronger than any other straw hat. You can't deny that. And he has more endurance than any other straw hat. And he has better, ha better armament hockey than any other straw hat. <sighs> if you say Luffy's armament hockey is better. Okay, man. Sure. Say whatever you want to say. I still say Zoro's is better. Anyway. Lee, he spins around and he says flame wheel and then this is a wheel of flame no he says flame tornado and basically it's like a wheel of tornado and this if it hit him twice this is 400 megatons of tnt and it does hit him so now i'm just like let me match the punch and he hits him with the strength of around 680 megatons of tnt sending him flying into the wall Outside of the arena, Rock Lee rushes back in, throwing two shuriken. Naruto catches them, throwing them back. Pulls out kunai, throws the kunai, then rushes at Rock Lee. They clash. And clash again. And this is pretty equal. Alright, let me end this equalizer. And Naruto gets more buff. Because you know the form. The form. You know the actual form. This, this form. So Naruto's hair goes up, and it's like this. I call black and red aura. And Naruto is punched now with Rock Lee. Because this punch, 
It's not gonna look at broccoli straight away. Broccoli is like shine yeah, that's transformation. This is the dreaded transformation that makes him win every match and not be able to lose usually. I like we never thought we would see the day Naruto uses this. Then the fourth Okage is laughing like I never thought he would actually use this on a regular bars. Broccoli really is his rival. That's shocking. Then Naruto He's like earth shattering. <laughs> no, he's like earth shattering. And then it's a giant. No, Rock Lee kicks Naruto and this isn't doing anything. Like he's barraging Naruto. Like he says, leave Hurricane. Like it's it's 1,200 kilotons of TNT. Yes. That's how much it would be. But since it's hitting Naruto, it's just the wind wave. So the villagers can't see. They say, Rock Lee's beat him. But then that aura of Naruto just lights up the arena and he clears it. It's like, of Shatara. And he hits Rock Lee so hard. And I'm not luckily his heart stops and he drops. And they saw this. No, he didn't even hit him hard. She threw, like Naruto was just moving around weirdly. Like if you saw in Bucky season three, what the old man could do, he made he made a crater in the wall, just with like a regular fist. Like if that hits someone regularly, it will spread the fist. And luckily he's down on the floor. And Naruto, he's out of this room. He's like, that hurt, and then he walks up the arena. Naruto isn't as buffed out, but in that form it takes a lot of concentration, and it's gonna buff. It's gonna make you stronger, like it's gonna give you more muscle. That's it. Anyway, Naruto, hmm, he walks off. Everyone's like. Can't beat him, Gara's like, it'll make this more fun to kill him. Anyway, Sasuke was eliminated by Rock Lee. So it's Naruto versus Gara. They're the only two people left. Everyone else got knocked out. Yep, I'm gonna say that. So, this is the final fight. And everyone's watching, like, even Rock Lee, he's back and he's like, damn, Naruto's punched that. That didn't, it didn't hurt. Like, what do you mean? It deactivates. Like, it deactivates all of my chakra points. Even though I can't use chakra, it still deactivated my life. It made me die for, for a few minutes. I was in the aftermath. And everyone was like, oh. everyone, everyone heard this. He's like, he has a moment that will kill you. And he's like, Broccoli's like, you know, he'll probably be able to destroy the earth core with that attack. It may not cause like damage like a lot, but it would destroy the core because of the type of stuff it does. Because the earth has chakra. So anyway, Gara he tries to hit Naruto and he's using his perfect defense, but Naruto he's breaking it each time and he hits Gara. Gara grabs onto the arena and he goes into his evil Shukaku form. And now he and now he's and he's trying to hit Naruto Naruto. He rips off the sand arm and he's just punching like I'm thinking Gara I'm not trying. It's like we could do this all day, Gara. You're weak compared to my actual power. So then Gara's like what? that's impossible. It, it should be impossible, right? I can't lose. So then Gara goes into Shikaku form, thinking he can't lose. Nope, no, 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 shut up, Gara. Naruto is literally Yujiro Hanma, the strongest anime character. I don't care, Yujiro Hanma is the strongest anime character. Piss off, fight me if you don't think so. <laughs> Alright, but well, seriously. So, if Naruto meets the shit of Gara, and Gara, he can't do this, and he's about to kill Gara, and then tomorrow. Tomorrow, a conqueror says, Don't kill my rapper. If you kill my rapper, I'll kill you. Then Tamari, Tamari thinks, I shall seduce Naruto. <laughs> and it works. And Naruto stops. <laughs> Tamari, she 
he, 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 you can't fight me in this. You can't win a fight against this. Tomori is the best looking girl in Naruto. And you can't lie. You know, second, but second. Definitely second. But that's it. Anyway, Naruto. I stopped. I need to just kick Garo off. And Conqueror was like, I'll beat the shelf though. I'll shoot the shelf that Naruto. And he rushes at Naruto with his puppet. But when the puppet comes, Naruto just smashes it. And he's like, So, what do you want? And then Tamari is like, Oh, never mind. And Naruto realizes he got shammed. And he's like, Oh, quick. And then he's like, Oh, no, no, let's go on a day. And Naruto's like, Okay. Because then it gets one. Minato was laughing because this situation, you saw how he could, how Naruto could switch. It's like he actually has a weakness. He has a weakness for some reason. Like Naruto's more like Bucky right now. When Naruto gets full power, he's literally Yu Yu Hanma. So yes, his strength and base Bucky level. He gets the Yu Yu Hanma not trying level when he actually gets that power. Um, this, this was an interesting but I just generally want to watch a video, so I'll pause this. Nah. Um, alright, let me ask it. So Sasuke leaves the village, like always, simple. Um, shit, did I revive the Uchiha in this? No, that was another what if. Anyway. So anyway, Minato realized how powerful Naruto was. <laughs> and he's like, shit, that's interesting. If Naruto Naruto can manipulate chakra in his fists, but he can't make it chakra natures. So he can't shoot out fire. He is like a villager with the strength of my guy. That's interesting. And Sasuke left the village. They knew this. They found out. And Sakura was like, No, no, Naruto, this is your fault. And she keeps blaming Naruto. She tries to hit Naruto. Naruto really doesn't care. And he's like, I really don't care. That's his free will. I don't give two shits. This is part one. I'll give you part two later if you actually watch this video. Bye.